we have handled a number of tree cases and made recoveries on those tree, tree yeah. cases. And in fact, uh, the largest workers' comp settlement that we're aware of in Georgia was from a tree case, okay. even though liability didn't mean anything in that case. But mm -hmm. we also collected mm -hmm. uh, under the liability policy. Where, mm -hmm. where, but BJ, why don't you go into a little bit of detail and e explain okay. You know why and what makes uh, a tree case something okay. that right. that is actionable. I can do that. Uh, like Wendell said, um, it really bo it boils down to the, the tree, and but more importantly, where it is is also an important consideration. Because if it's in the middle of a stand of trees in a you know tract of land that's not really adjacent to a roadway, then it, there's really no duty to inspect it or maintain and make sure that you don't have any dead or dying trees on your property. But if you're have property that abuts a busy roadway, then the law does impose a duty upon you to periodically look at your trees and, you're, and if there's something that should be noticed, you have to react to it. You can't just say, I've got dying trees or a dead tree. You've got to get somebody out there and cut them down because if you don't and one of them falls and injures somebody driving by or walking by, you're going to be liable for it. But it, the, uh, once you get past that battle, that is whether there's a duty to inspect uh, or it comes down to force foreseeability too, whether whatever you're looking at in these trees could injure somebody then the question becomes what's the condition of the tree and that's usually sometimes you can look at a tree and it's real obvious uh, that it's not dead or dying uh, sometimes it's not as obvious as others and we've used arborists in the past to establish what the tree's state of health was to help establish the claim they can be very factually specific as well and it's important if you have a tree case to get a lawyer involved because they need to get somebody to look at the tree it's not always the case where you've got an obviously dead tree. Sometimes you have a dying tree that there's an issue about whether it should have been taken down or not. So if you're home, the, the moral of the story is if you're a homeowner or a business owner, you need to make periodic inspections of your trees to see what kind of right. conditions they are. Because the law is going to impute to you knowledge of what a reasonable inspection would have revealed. Right. right. So you might as well do it, find your dead or dying trees, and get rid of them.